Hi guys and welcome to a how to use fraps with Windows 8 video. This is the Sims Diaries. Um I don't know why I just clicked on that. I'm just gonna quickly show you how to use fraps with Windows 8 because sometimes it can be a bit confusing. So first you're gonna uh, you're gonna want to open um your fraps icon, yeah. Your fraps icon. Just here. Um and then once that's come up. Um, <laughs> once that's come up, yeah, you just have to click on that, sorry. Um, and then you want to go on to FPS, and that's just going to show you um, all your stuff, so where you want the icon to be. I'll show you what I mean by the icon in a minute. Um, and then movies, you're going to show with the what microphone you want to use. So that's just my basic microphone now. It's already on my laptop, but you can have any. Just leave these how they are. I did, um, or just copy mine. It works perfectly well. Um, if you don't want sound, just untick record external input. Um, and then for screenshots, you've got your screen capture hotkey. So when you want to screen capture, you press F10. I've got. And then when you want to start your videos, you press something so you can do space any letter number one backspaces but i prefer the one that's you know on the side of your keyboard the small one um so now i'm going to want to go into my game <coughs> and you can see the icon here um so when you go back onto fraps you can change how you want your icon it will like flicker don't worry about the numbers just ignore them they don't really mean as far as I know, they don't mean anything. So you can hide it, put it in the bottom corners, you know, top corners, anything, really. Um, but I want it here, I think. Oh no, I might have it in top corner. It doesn't really matter where you have it. It's just convenient for where you can see it. So I'm going to keep it there. And I'm just going to press my hotkey, which is number one now, to capture a short video. It will now go red. Um, and this is just like my video, just going on sl shortly. Um, and then when I've uh, clicked it again, it will stop. Then you're going to want to go into here. It will show you where it will put your video. So I think it will usually have put it in your video file. But if you click view, it should show you. It should be in videos. Mine does. Mine goes in videos. So I will show you where that will be. You just have to have a little bit of a search to find where they are. You can change that. You can have them put them on your desktop if you prefer. So there's that video that I've just uploaded. It will look like that. I mean not uploaded, taken. So then you want to go on to um, open, well you can use any editing but I prefer to use Movie Maker because it already comes with the Windows 8. On my laptop it did anyway. Um, but I think it's, this, I didn't have to pay for this but anyway. So it will load at the bottom like you just saw. This is pretty quick because it's only about four, five seconds or something. Um, and then you you can do anything. You can edit it, put titles, um, you know, do little cute things with um, captions, uh, add music, um, make it all animated, cool like that. Um, but once you've done that, you want to go back to home and then you're going to click save movie and then you're going to go into the file where you want to save it so i'm just going to save it into videos and name it test movie or something yeah test movie um and then it's just going to load here obviously depending on how long it is depends on how long it's going to take um this one's obviously only taken a few seconds but um so you have to bear that in mind while it's going um so i've just done that now um, so it says it's ready, I'm just going to close that, and then you click cross, and then it says do you want to save the changes, yes, and you go back into your videos, you don't have to save it again, this is just like the original one, so if you want to go back into Movie Maker and edit it, you can open up this one, it means you don't have to do extra um, saving and loading and stuff, and I just called it a test movie original, and then I'm going to go back on to the internet, Excuse my emails up there. Um, and then I'm going to go onto YouTube and I'm going to show you how to upload it as well. So we're going to click YouTube or type in YouTube, whatever. Um, and then you click upload at the top. 
it's really simple really guys um, and then you're going to click um, select video to upload find your video so test movie um, open and then you can change your title um, give it a description you thumbnails um, but obviously you have to put the thumbnails on after you're done but I don't want to upload it so I'm just going to click cancel upload and then it stopped uploading it um, so yeah uh, thanks for watching this video guys I hope it's been helpful for you um, and sorry um, I hope it was useful yeah as I say um, sorry about that it just comes up it keeps I keep getting a window like this it's so annoying um, and don't forget to subscribe, write some comments down below if you don't understand um, anything that's happened or if you're confused or if you just need advice or if you just want to talk to me that would be great. Oh, I spelled understand wrong. <laughs> um, i just woken up so. Um, and then keep subscribing guys. Uh, I love you all. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful. Maybe recommend it to a few friends if they're finding this difficult as well. I love you all and I will see you in my next video, hopefully. Um, and just generally have a really cool time filming your Sims videos with Windows 8 and Wraps. Love you all guys. Bye bye now.